As a result of I was reading one article and this article really got me thinking and that's why I decided to say no, I'm going to share my opinion based on this. Um, it was about fornication. Um, you know, there's a misunderstanding in the sense that people believe that fornication is when you sleep with many partners and if you only sleep with one partner then it's not called fornication. That because you're not moving from one guy to another and all that kind of thing. So, a lot of children are really going to get deceived and I just want to share my opinion based on this whole thing because first and foremost if you're not married you're not meant to be having sex you're meant to keep yourself pure you can only have sex with somebody that has married you somebody that has paid your diary somebody that has you know shown interest in you and has met your parents and you know gone through the normal procedure as in the traditional wedding I mean the traditional marriage you know the blessing in the church at the altar and you know you fulfill your vows and then on that very big day which is a wedding day obviously you can now you know open up yourself for the man to you know enjoy himself and for both of you to obviously you know <laughs> enjoy yourselves but uh, during your single moment uh, you don't need to you know kind of think of that you've got to you know glorify God in whatever that you do you need to be careful you don't need to please that man you don't need to please that woman even if he insists you know sometimes temptation will come sometimes you're sitting together and you'll be kind of feeling lonely you say oh I wish I would you know but always remember to say that oh I have to keep myself because when you keep yourself that man that is going to marry you is going to really value you but if you decide to give him into sex before marriage, you lose your integrity, you know, and it, along the line it will bring suspicious. You see a lot of couples that are married today because the bed was defiled and so that is why they keep suspecting, oh, their wife is not yet back at about nine o'clock or, or maybe if the wife just pops out, they'll be calling the, the girl two to two minutes. It's because the trust is not there. You know, so you need to avoid all these things from happening by keeping yourself, keep your purity. You don't, you, you don't lose anything. You don't need to be lettuced in town. You don't need to do what your friends are doing. You know, do what the word of God says. Because just ask yourself, okay, if I open up my body now and I'm in the, in the, in the midst of committing that act and rapture takes place, where will I go to? You know, you not have the opportunity to say, oh Lord, I'm sorry. And you know, come and tell God to say, oh Lord, I wanted to, you know, to keep this relationship going and that. So if such kind of things arises, you know, and the man is putting pressure on you to say, oh, come, let's sleep, let's sleep. Make him to understand that, no, you cannot do it. If he's willing to wait for you, he will wait for you. You know, set those boundaries. That's why I always keep encouraging you that you know before you commit yourself fully to into a relationship make sure you stress your points make sure you say oh this is what I want and if it's something that is able to you know go by it then fantastic because you're not you're not willing to enter into something that you will not you know complete it at the end of the day so you've got to be careful guys and I just thought I should share this with somebody that is watching me Thank you so much for your time and I will, I will, you know, I've been away for quite a while but I'll try as much as I can to be consistent by sharing insightful messages that will be a blessing. Thank you so much and God bless. Until next time, have an exceptional week. Bye. Everybody say unchangeable, unchangeable reliable. Only you can do what no man can do. Unchangeable, unchangeable reliable. Only you can do what no.
my friend. 